while we were filming, we were very real with each other and open about the entire process. So I felt we spoke about it before going on AFR that we wanted to continue that. We wanted to continue to be upfront and transparent about our relationship. And like any other normal relationship, you have your ups and you have your downs. Yeah. Were you able to actually see each other? Or were you in Canada the whole time and you were in LA the whole time? No, the, the show does a great job of, of trying to get us to see each other. So we got to see each other every two to three weeks oh, for like good. four to five days at a time. Oh, uh, nice. So, I mean, not ideal, but it's it was consistent. Um, the hard part about that is when we do that, we're basically locked in a house mm -hmm. for that period of time, which is great to spend time, but that isolation of, it's just like, okay, well, you, you're just, it's just you guys in a house. So like, there's a lot of, you know, spending time to get a lot of talking, which is great. And then we cook and we watch TV and we play games. We did some Bob Ross paintings. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, you know, that has its own struggles. It wasn't like going to her house or going no. to your house. No, they it was like, like a setup house. Just like, yeah, they call it, they literally call it a safe house. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, that's so No, I mean, it's... We're only, yeah, yeah only we know. So it's very it cloak and dagger the whole time, which even that is just like, there's always this, there's the, and like some of the stresses in, in Bachelor World as a couple are some uh, something as simple as the fear of like leaking the truth, getting, yeah. getting it, you know, really screwing important. up, yeah. you know, like accidentally posting a picture that's somehow in your phone or like saying the wrong thing, and that even that has its burden, right? Um, and even little things like you know, going back to like comments on the internet. One thing I explained to her, I'm like, listen, towards the end. I have no doubt there's going to be people rooting for you. There's going to be people rooting for other people too. It's mm -hmm. not personal, but that it's easier said than done sometimes. And so those little things like will add up, you know. And yeah, I think of sometimes course. it adds it, it causes frustration. Well, hopefully that slows down now. You know, hopefully it can be more focused on your dancing with the stars mm -hmm. career and how you're doing it, and this and the stresses on your guys' relationship will hopefully slow down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I mean we're really excited about kind of that fresh start and that mm -hmm. normal. You are moving to L.A.? Uh, yes, in the process of getting that done. But okay, right cool. now I'm in L.A. Legally. Legally, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have I'm that like, whole... I don't know how to answer that, but yeah. I'm sure that, that's, that's more complicated <laughs> than the average uh, yeah. relationship. We're going to go through the proper channels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you guys going to move in together? Have you picked out a place, or are you guys... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not going to get separate places. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Which, again, like... You know, we made that choice as a couple, and we also like kind of weighed the pros and cons. I mean, as an engaged couple, it seems like the obvious thing to do, but as a couple that's still getting to know each other, there's also some risk behind. So, um, that's that's the situation we find ourselves in, and we're just going to continue to be practical and upfront and realistic about our situation. And I I think for us that means that gives us a lot of hope.